Welcome to TQA Weekly. I'm going to help you look like a geek by teaching you how to use the terminal in Ubuntu and even some tricks to get around the lockdowns they have just recently installed. Welcome to TQA Weekly, I'm your host Steve Smith aka Z-Axis and let's get straight to the point. I'm going to be teaching you how to use the terminal within Ubuntu and what are you going to learn? How to use root access within the terminal. What to avoid aka the space when all you're copying and pasting. You're going to learn how to modify the mode of the file to get certain commands to run in a new Ubuntu 11.10. And finally, we're going to continue our installation of Tor and how to update all the packages within Ubuntu. So let's get on straight. First things first, when you are copying and pasting, especially when you're copying from a website to the terminal, if the command were to show up in a paragraph instead of having its own line, it, it is possible and not unconceivable that you can copy a space in front of the command. Please avoid, this will solve many headaches. If you can't, Use the arrow keys on your keyboard, go to the first letter of the command, hit backspace, that will remove the space in the command and you don't have to go all the way back, just hit enter, the command will run. So let's get to the demo. Welcome to Ubuntu 11.10. First things first, how to load the terminal, click the Unity button, type in terminal, You'll have the terminal icon, or if you want to use power shortcuts, control alt T, load the terminal, not always where you want it on the screen. So let's bring it up closer to the top. So if you want to use that change file mode command, I told you that you have to use now, if you want to use something like dot slash configure, it is chmod space plus X name of the file in question. By the way, this is a hint for something. Click enter and it's done. Hit clear, enter, and there it is. Now, obviously I told you we're gonna have to do a lot of copying and pasting, so let's start with it. First things first, we need to deal with the commands in question. So the first line of command, by the way, these commands will be in the show notes, starts off with, hold on, GPG. So if, by the way, if you copy from a text editor or website and you wanna import it into the terminal, right click, paste. Make sure there's no space at the beginning and it will work. So the command is GPG space minus minus key server space keys, that's an S dot GNU PG dot net space minus minus R E C V as in receive space 886DDD89. Now I'm not gonna read all the numbers out for you, but that's the first command. And then it's now actually in. The next thing is the GPG export back into the terminal, right click, paste. So GPG space minus minus export space, really long number available in the show notes. At the end of this space, pipeline, which is the vertical line, space sudo, which actually allows you root access, apt minus key space add space minus. Again, this is all in the show notes and the link to the actual page is there. Click enter, it asks for the password, and now we're done for that. Now, the last two commands require, require root access. They don't write the command on the website, I will write the command correctly inside the show notes. So we don't add apt hyphen get space update. We add sudo space apt hyphen get space update, which gives me the root access to run this command. Without root access, this command we don't have permission for. Hit enter and a bunch of stuff downloading from the servers will show up. Now, again, to install Tor, it's sudo, not apt right away, but sudo space apt minus get 
space install space t o r space t o r minus g o i p d b hit enter and it is now finalized that is the end of the demonstration but just before we leave let's hear a refresher you learn how to paste correctly so don't select spaces in front of the first character and you should be fine it was right click paste and you hit enter and that's it you learned how to get commands to run as root even though you may not be the root by using the word sudo often called sudo space then the command click enter you learned how to change the mode of the file to get it to run as an executable program using chmod space plus x small space then the name of the file and of course if you need to know what the name of the file is just type in the prompt of the terminal l s hit enter and you'll have the list of the files in that directory and if you need to clear the screen just type in the word clear so that is everything you have learned today that is a lot of power within the terminal here's the thing there is a lot more yet to come next week I'll be finally explaining what Tor is what we've been trying to do I'll explain what it's used for how to use it correctly what you can't do with it despite the fact that some people might actually say you can and best of all I'll explain how to get one of their packages online and run it easily from your desktop all this next week just so we all understand there was a hint for the contest today of course the information that you are required to get is on our website at tqaweekly.com if you want to ask me any question tell me any story have any comment or have any suggestions tqaweekly.com want to go on to our mailing list get gear and apparel off with our banner name all over it or if you want to get more information on other episodes tqaweekly.com and if you need one reason to convince your friends to convert to the Ubuntu side of the world it's free that's all you need to tell them it's free they can download it they can install it they can run it from a disk and it's free Mac is not free Windows is not free so if you need one reason to convert them it's free so stay safe and online there's no viruses in Ubuntu let's see you all here next week don't forget to subscribe share like thank you and have a great day